Hello and welcome to my uh, tenth, 11th video in my how to build a 4-bit computer series. Um, in this video I will be continuing with the screen decoders. Um, last uh, In the last video we did our binary to decimal decoder and now we will be doing our decimal to 7 segment display decoder. Sorry about the lag, I've got um, quite a few programs running but um, hopefully it shouldn't affect anything too much. Okay then, when um, uh, the screen we'll be using is called 7 segment display, I'm sure many of you have heard of it, it's basically where any number can be um, uh, can be written um, using like 7 different segments. Um, I'll just do a quick demonstration. So um, the two segments used to make a 1 would be the bottom right segment the top right segment, so that would be a 1. And then for a 0 you'd add the bottom one, the left one, the top left and the top and then there's also one in the middle. So that's how the 7 segment display kind of looks. And uh, to get um, 15 decimal numbers into um, like visual numbers on 7 segment display you need to have a 7 segment decoder which is what I'll be doing now. Um, but one thing you have to add before the seven segment decoder is some uh, is an RS null latch just to a uh, so when say an output comes in it gets saved so instead of just flashing on and off it uh, will stay there until like the next clock cycle or something like that. Okay then so from the outputs of here just uh, build an RS a vertical RS null latch like so. So you've got a uh, Torch it, um, your L shape like that, and underneath this you need a uh, need a torch to power that off, and then like this. This um, this is like our reset line. So if if uh, if this gets an output by uh, like so, it will be saved to a uh, saved to the output, and when it, when this gets reset. Hmm. One second. Uh, this is wrong. I'm not sure why. Oh, th I think this needs to be inverted. One second. It's been a while since I've built one of these. Okay, let's just try this now. Okay, yeah. So now, uh, now that's been written to it, and uh, it's off. And if we, uh, if we press the reset button, it's back on again. So you can see this is inverted but that's good because that's what we need. So um, the reset line I will do hmm oh bother I'm running a uh, going to get a bit cramped here. I'm just going to have to lower this down one, well two actually I think. I'll just go like so and don't delete random blocks like I did. That won't help you whatsoever. Okay. Hopefully this uh, this still reaches. Just need to check that it does. And yes, it does. Okay, that's good. <sighs> Horrendous lag. Okay. Um. So. Uh, that's what that will look like, and then you want two more coming out of the bottom and then like an L shape like this. So this will stack quite nicely now. So get your first position up here and your second position make sure you select the block not the redstone. So select that and stack that 14 times. Okay then. As you can see uh, we did need to lower that two down looks quite nicely. Hmm, um, this will be another one of our commands, this will be uh, like the reset the screen I think I'll call this but I'll, uh, I'm not sure where that's going to go, like feed into it at the moment so I'm not going to add in a repeat or anything I don't think. Oh no I need to, uh, I do need to add something, an inverter. Hopefully that reaches all the way, okay that's uh, 
that's looking quite good. And from here, um, we need to take it up two and then take it out 15 blocks, uh, 30 blocks, I think. So from here, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Actually, start again, sorry, lost count. Um, so take it two and then from the second block go. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, thirty. Okay, is that right? Thirty box. Oh no. Uh, yeah, I think that should be okay. And now, um, now what we need to do is add our lines going up. Um, it's like these are going horizontal, the ones that go vertical. Before that, and we're just going to uh, add repeaters to uh, this line. Hmm. Okay, I'll I'll stack this before adding the uh, the vertical lines. When, uh, once this is uh, like the frame is being built, I'll explain what it does because I know this probably isn't making a lot of sense right now. So it needs to be stacked fourteen times. Stack fourteen, like so, uh, Mr. Block. You want to stack this as well. Stack 14. Okay. Now that's done, we can add our um, our vertical lines, like I said. So if you come around to the front where the actual screen will be, the screen will be like up here somewhere. And uh, I'll probably like why the user inputs round. It's like directly in front of the uh, in front of the screen. Just realised we've got extra blocks here. We don't need. And I absolutely hate extra blocks. Don't know why I just do. Okay. <sighs> hmm. Uh, I'm just going to check where we need to put this. So place the torch on here. Go and then go uh, two down. Like so. And then take this back all the way. I think, yep, that's as far as you need to go. And then I'd, uh, I'd red stone to all of these. Mm, pardon me. Sorry about that. Okay, so now that's done. Um, uh, each seven segment display can um, show up to the number nine. So obviously we need to go up to number 15, so we need two seven segment displays side by side. And so each segment, each display has seven segments obviously. And one of these lines corresponds to one of those segments. So there are two lots of the seven segments, so there are 14 segments making, them, uh, making us need 14 lines. So this needs to be stacked 13 times. Yeah, yeah, I added uh, a few too many um, blocks on here. I wasn't quite sure how many were needed. So you can just uh, delete the unnecessary ones. Set to zero. Um, the last thing we probably need to do on these is add repeaters to these lines. Okay then, um, yeah, I'll check that, see how far it reaches. Make sure you place it directly underneath one of these, um, what do you call it, one of these lines. Otherwise, the if you place it underneath where a torch would go, that torch won't work. Okay then, um, 
So that's the frame of our decoder built. Um, I think that'll do for this video. I don't want to stretch out too far. So yeah, thanks for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe.